Elecard Codec Works is a professional modular solution for real-time video encoding, transcoding, multiplexing and demultiplexing. Video source and server redundancy are of crucial importance for non-stop broadcasting. In this video, we will explain how to set up redundant or reserve source and server. Server reserving with the modes M plus 1 and M plus M and source redundancy have been implemented in Codec Works to increase transcoding reliability. Let's start with the source reserving. If the source signal is lost, the schema automatically switches to a redundant source. However, the schema switches back to the original source signal as soon as it is restored. Set a main source for an encoding signal when creating a new schema. Select IP source from the source drop-down box and specify the IP DMAX type. This source is to be used for transcoding by default. To set up a redundant or reserved source, add a signal source and select IP source and IP reserve from the source and type drop-down boxes correspondingly. Note that the number of reserved sources is not limited. To complete creation of the transcoding schema, go through the following steps. In the input tab, select the PIDs to be transferred and required actions for the specified stream, for example, AVC encoding for video streaming over IP. The PIDs or program ID can be selected either from the reserve source or from the main one. Specify an output protocol for the stream in the output tab. Specify an output multicast address in the output parameters tab. Open the context menu by right-clicking the console and select Start Encoding. Two sources used for transcoding are displayed in CodecWorks, and real-time schema shows which source is used at the moment, main or reserve. Let's check how sources are switched. When creating a schema, we can see that the output signal received from the console number one is used as the main signal. In addition, all encoding statistic parameters are displayed for the selected video stream. Switch off the first encoding console and thereby remove the main signal source. As soon as the schema detects the original signal loss, it automatically switches to a redundant source, reserve 1. However, the schema switches back to the main source as soon as the first console is switched on. We've just validated that source reserving is set up. Let's move on to the server reserving using the mode M plus 1. Please make sure the servers are located in the same local network. One reserve server can back up several encoding servers. It starts operating once the server connection with the main server is lost. In CodecWorks Manager, select the server to be used for reserving and open the Reserving tab. Add reserve servers on the left side if required. There is a list of reserve and main server consoles on the right side. The list of consoles allows setting up compliance between consoles and choosing an encoding schema. The schema can be transferred from the main server or can be directly set up at the redundant or reserve server. Note that the list of consoles belongs to the particular server and the consoles should be individually set up for main servers. Once the configuration is completed, the consoles set up for a redundant server are disabled and marked with the reserving sign. Switch off one of the main servers. See that the schema state changes from disabled to enabled and starts operating. If we switch on the main server, the redundant server stops its operation. The server reserving is set up. Server reserving is set up for the N plus M mode in a similar way as for the M plus 1 mode, but all reserve servers are grouped, and server switching is automatically managed within the group. It is required to set up a group of servers for each redundant server. Open the reserving menu, click the group button, and create a group of redundant servers. We understand that sometimes you may need help. Elecard has a support team as well as a business team that can help structure a solution for you. We're able to help address all your video compression needs for projects of any scale and complexity.